Copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent, all other rights reserved. Okay, so let's uh, reconvene again. And uh, uh, today, uh, there's one, one more thing happened. Is you signed a different wafer. And I'm not sure if you have questions on the new wafer you signed or not. However, um, this wafer actually to protect you because there is a specific clause in this wafer which say that any ideas we share here are our own ideas. If you apply them to your business or your life, it's your own responsibility. You don't come again uh, us. And also any idea you share or you hear from someone else in the workshop is actually covered so they cannot come after you. So this gives us all of us a freedom of just to speak our mind, okay? So that's why we needed this one because I realized from yesterday that we will you are not you, we will talk more on business strategies and more specifics about business as well. So that's what you call a disclaimer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And there are uh, we have uh, many of them because over the years I've been doing so many different stuff and if you have any questions, just reach out to me and I will be more than happy to share what I know. And it's your responsibility. The very first uh, uh, <coughs> exercise we did or activity we did today, you end up having some actions, that's right? So each one of you has at least three actions. If you have more, it's good. If you don't have three, we need to talk. The question is, how will I, how will I achieve these actions? So how we will achieve these actions? What you will do to achieve these actions? Any ideas, any thoughts? Well, I was just talking with, with Marcel about the actions that I have. And <coughs> I know that when I go back through them, as I'm referring back to the information, they're going to be, some of them maybe have to be prioritized in a different, different Way. like some might have to be done before other ones even though I may have set a time limit on that and so I was just saying to him that I'm going to find it really helpful when I go through them and the notes again is I always take a different colored highlighter and the first time I go through I'll highlight in pink second time I'll go through I'll write notes in red and highlight in something else and then the third time I go through for more information, so it helps me to prioritize what is most important needing to be done right now, yep. and, and so on. And so so forth. what do we call this process? I just call it my categorizing. We call it? Color cleansing. Prioritizing. <laughs> prioritizing. Neurolinguistic programming. Good man. PLA, uh, pronomial linguist. Uh, is that the most exact term? It's called Analytic planning. neuroscience. Yeah. <laughs> again and again and again and again. <laughs> so we call it plan. Mm. So what you must have, you must have a plan. Now, wh why people don't like to have plans? then you don't have to stick to it. Uh, so the question is, if you have a plan, will you stick to it? More than likely, if, it's, if you've developed it yourself, you will. You will, okay. <laughs> what will happen if you cannot achieve the goals within the plan? Is it the end of the day? Is it the end of the year? Is it the end of life? No. no. Nothing, okay. It means you may have to re-look at how you set up your plan. Or develop plan two, yeah. or plan B. I'm not talking about plan B, okay, okay. Or uh, you can do a replanning, yeah. okay. Uh, or plan the plan, you know. So plan is a, a base line, which you can at, you can uh, schedule your activities. That's right. Who here does not have plans for tomorrow? Anybody here has no plan for tomorrow? I have a plan. The plan is to come here. He has to be here. <laughs> okay, the plan is to come here. 
What about Monday? What's the plan for Monday? Going to bed. <laughs> so each one has a plan. So you must have a plan. Now, how can you track your plans? How can you wish? How can you track your progress to how you can track your progress or how you track your progress through the plan? Well, well if you've got the work done, uh, feedback from others, so the question in a different way, how long the plan will be for? Like how long should you plan for? There are different yearly plans and weekly plans and uh, life plans. So. Okay, so usually we have a weekly plan, a uh, monthly plan, a 90, day 90 days plan, yeah. um, next summer plan. Like there are people who will... Uh, Vacation. I use, I, uh, she's still my wife, so I have a wife, <laughs> which is... When we go to uh, Vegas, she ha she plans every single step because she wants to go to see almost every single casino. It was the first two or three times we went to Vegas. So she would say, yeah, at five o'clock or six o'clock, we have to walk from here till here. Then we cross from this bridge. We go to the mall, we spend there half an hour. We come back walking through this one and then you go through the... Uh, pirates because there's a pirate show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and then after that you go to the f water fountain or the water dancing show yeah. and then we go over there to the paris hotel because there's this show over there and then we go and like i took her like it was a war it was a conference in the sands uh, expo and i had a booth for there for my company as well and i planned to have like four days before and like two three days after I can share with you guys, like, I work out in the seven days, which is outside my other seven days, on a schedule. The other ones, I just basically go to the show, give my lecture, go back to my booth, hang around with my employees, go around, see anything. Nobody even told me where to go. Yeah. Like, I just the, the floor plan has, like, 4,000 um, exhibits in uh, the security show. And I used to go, I, I have freedom. The minute I was going outside my work, I have to make sure I am on a schedule because there are all of these shows we have to go through. But it was my fault because my very first uh, trip was her and the kids to Disney. I went, I took the time sheets and I said, here is how to optimize to see all the shows <laughs> through the park <laughs> in one day. Okay, so I, 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 you know, I don't feel guilty. Like after so long and after so many actions we had together, we don't feel, I don't feel guilty against Australia, to be honest with you, but this is how, what people can have for plans. So the plans can be um, yearly or <coughs> next, or, or based on a specific events. So you need to do like specific events. Like I know Mike has plans around, uh, because he has all season tickets for almost every single thing in Calgary. <laughs> and he has plans and he plans his life around this and his business, which is good. One of the biggest advantage for us as a, we work in business for ourselves is we can decide when we want to work. And this has the highest possible risk because if we are not in the mood, nothing will happen. Hmm. And if we keep not in the mood for a month or two, the bank account will start to come into the red. Yes, into the negative side, that's right. So it, it has advantage and disadvantage. I do what I like. I don't consider it work. And if I interact with my customers and clients, it's not it's less than four months a year because the other stuff I'm doing, is, which I also love away on my own. So, so the question is, how can I track my plan? How do you track what you do every day? Now, do you want to track what you do every day to reach the plan? Do well, you, yeah. you want to see what you <coughs> you've set up for the day that needs to be completed and that you at least got that done. So do you do that? Yes. On a regular basis? Yes. yes. So what's this called? Time tracking. Time tracking. No. No. It's called yeah. journal. It's called journaling. Right? Yeah. You should journal what you do and you should come in the first week and decide what you want to achieve. And you can do plan and, and journaling almost on a daily basis. Uh, journaling was more of a historical view of what you've done. Your no, journaling is a tracker of what you've done toward your goals. Of what you've 
done toward your goal. So it's not planning your week. Part of it is planning because you have to come in the first week in the weekly. And I will I share with you of, uh, one of the books we ha I, I do have uh, about, about that. So every week you should come and say, this is what's my goal to achieve this week. And then every, every single day you go back and say, this is what I'm doing and this is what I did. And what you did not do towards the weekly plan, it will go to the next day. Otherwise, what will happen? You'll, you'll fall behind. Yep. Will the world wait for us to, uh, to be successful? No. Are we contributing? Any, sorry, Karen. Are we inter are, what's our contribution to the real life? Do we can we stop the time? No. Can we have major contribution to impact everybody other than bombing ourselves? Of course you can. How you can? By staying on track and following your goal and your vision. And, and if you don't stay on track and following your goal and vision, will the world suffer from that? Do they care about that? Oh, I see what you say. No. No. Okay. So our contributions is measured by how much we can impact others. And to impact others is result. And the results need actions. And if we want to get the actions right, we have to be able to plan our actions. And from planning our actions, we have to track them by journaling. So when you do journaling, you must not do journaling at the end of the day. You must figure out that you have to leave like a buffer because if I miss the goals, I can really work this extra two hours. You know, like when my wife tell me like, oh, take the garbage out, take the dish. And why we should take the garbage out, man? Why we don't have an automatic garbage taker? Are you to call kids? <laughs> <laughs> I will not tell the mic. <laughs> so when somebody asks you for a task and you don't do it, uh, and you have a buffer in the day of like one or two hours, what you will do? Karen will say, oh my gosh, yeah, I, yeah, I promise why I have to do this. I will do it now. And then at like 10 o'clock at night, she will text me and say, yeah, I, here, here's the information. So, so you must have buffer. So I am against journaling before bedtime. I'm always like to have journaling somewhere where you have a buffer. You have an energy to do or catch up on few things which you, you can squeeze in your day. Okay? So um, I do have here an example. And before that, we want to uh, just. Uh, and uh, before I want to do that, like who, how many of you here are journaling on a daily basis? Do you use for forms or formats, or you just use the... Uh, use a book. OK. So uh, what I am sharing with you it's uh, okay. and my so for the VIB group, we have, you will get this 30 days uh, journaling. For the general seating, you'll get the sample of it. So you have a little booklet to go away. And uh, before you open, don't, please don't open your books. I will, you know what, we've spent another half an hour, you know? And this is one of the, of the things you have to watch if you want to engage groups into your workshops and seminars. Like somebody will come and say, uh, you have it, you, you have, I, I will, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if you want to get your group engaged, you must not give them everything at once because some of them will disappear. Now, is there any value for me giving you the information and send it to you at home, send you home? or the experience what make you change. So is it the value in the experience or the value in the information? Experience. But which one you value more? The experience, right? If the value in the information, my cousin can serve you very well. You know my cousin, that's right? Okay. My cousin, one of my cousins, like Google, Yahoo, 
whoever one of his cousin can help you. So the experience will mm-hmm. come. And if you plan to have a workshop or a seminar, you must have workbooks, you must have tools where the audience will make it personalized. I promise each one of you to have a personalized plan. Where is the personalized plan is? To make sure that you, that you get what you promise. It's basically inside your own notes, which is colored here. Because this is your personalized plan. If I don't give you a format to write your plan, I'm not helping you to give a, to, to create a personalized plan. Okay? So I will be doing a false advertisement. You can take me to something called a uh, competition board. And I can be in a deep trouble because I, prom- I promised something in my advertisement and I did not deliver it. And you should contact your lawyers and check with your lawyers on that because it's a serious conviction in Canada. If you promise and you don't deliver. So one of the promises we always give as a thought leaders and you will have a personal experience and you will have a personalized plan. I cannot. I don't have time in three hour in three days to watch it with like twenty, or fourteen or fifteen or fifty individuals. So how we can deliver that? By let the individuals write down their plans from their perspective. Moreover, when we get you into the groups, what I ask you to do to write actions. The idea is to stimulate each one. Each one will stimulate the others to be basically write. And even when somebody will come, somebody say, don't call it stealing, call it I copy what you do. And you can actually have a conversation. When people share, you are also entitled to take notes. So basically you can learn. So this is how we promise and how we deliver, okay? So as I told you before, anything you will get from us here will have this ISPN on it. And this is, means this is our registered and sold any, uh, somewhere. The groups which got the smaller version, uh, it's uh, actually uh, extracts only, so the smaller version, uh, only the first page is a small, but uh, uh, the, the ice pen also is protected with the bigger page. And this book actually is available on Amazon. <coughs> so if you want to buy it, you can buy it from Amazon. Okay? If you, um, so this is the one, one week, roughly, and this is our 30 days. And this will share with you some example for how you can journal. So, if you have your booklet, can you basically put your name and the date? So if you can write your name and date. Kevin, can you write your name and date? And believe me, I'll have enough time to spend it with every single page. And if you open the first uh, page, you will see the introduction. And in page one, you must have what we call it a 90 days goals. And my 90 days goals will go beyond my business. Because if you are only working as a business, you don't sleep, you don't eat, you don't uh, drink, you don't take care of yourself, what will happen? You will go sick and die. And then what will happen to your business? Done. Done. Yeah. So if you want to talk about the health plans, personal plans, um, I care more about business, passive income, and the communication. I know there are individuals around the table like Karen and uh, Shamir and Dedris, I'm not sure, and uh, Mariana. Uh, these individuals, I'm not sure, I, I'm sure I'm not, I not miss anybody else. And even actually Marcel also is doing stuff on the personal and the health. And Marcel is doing stuff on personal and business. I do more on uh, business, passive income, and communication. So if you don't if you don't have a plan for each one of these categories, figure out a plan. You don't need to sign up for a formal program sometimes. Sometimes you can talk or you can figure. But consider partitioning your plans into five categories. Okay? And the definition of these categories will be definition of who, who defines these categories. You. So for example, personal plan. If you have a wedding of your of your friend, is it a personal bla- uh, uh, plan or it's a communication? It's you define what you want to do, but you should have a plan. You should consider having a plan. If you are on a weight loss, is it uh, health or personal? I don't care, but you must have a plan. 
if you are like me on a medication for uh, cold, I did not give you the cold, guys, okay? That's my cold. Don't take it away from me. <laughs> uh, it's a health surplus, okay? So you should write down some goals. And within these goals, 90 days goals, which should do it like every quarter, second page, it's a monthly goal. So the second, sorry, second uh, table, you have to break it down to monthly goal. What you can achieve this. If you don't have a health plan, just say keep healthy. I will keep healthy. I will eat healthy food. I'll just keep healthy. Uh, if you have a routine like uh, playing or practicing or running in the morning or going to the gym or whatever, you can. I will show you where, where to plan this. Then the second uh, page. It break it down to a weekly to-do list. <coughs> so we come from the month, from the 90 days plan, to the month plan, to the week plan. And then what you need to do here, uh, you should, under, under the, on the days here, you should be able to write what you want to do generally and also there are some categories which is like what is must to do this week what you must do this week so if you work on, for example on your website or on your communication uh, or your marketing plan we say okay you must have like a website in two weeks so here you can say must do this week plan the website for next week completion uh, if you have a deadline of paying bills you say this is what I have to pay this week then the second part um, will be the complete list of things to do. What you should do, which is under here, what you should do this week. D will you stick to this list? You try to do the most out of it. So sometimes we have our fear that we will not do what we promise. So there are people who say, you know what? Under promise and over deliver. It doesn't work here. Under promise and over deliver, it works only in companies. Here is your life. Promise yourself what you will deliver in a week. And if you are not available, just say, you know what? I'm going to Hawaii for vacation. I'm going to New Zealand, okay? I'm just, I'm not doing it. So you know after two, three, four, six months down the road that you are not working on this so it helped from emotional perspective because if you come in to me and say why did not launch this particular product which you planned like in december in december last year i would tell you yeah i know what i was behind i did no, no i was not behind i was doing all of this stuff and deciding having an extra product for me was too much so you know now what you can schedule your, in your your, your limitations you know, sometimes we say this stuff and say, okay, you know what? My mom was really sick and had this emergency. I went away. I will write it after that. That's, I cannot do it. So when you go and evaluate why you did not achieve your goals, you will not feel down because it will make sense. You know what was going on. And uh, in this way, you can be on the top of it. Then... Um, in the bottom here, you have my big projects and what's my milestones. The idea of this section in particular is to keep you focused on what you do. Yes, everybody will deliver the kids to school. Everybody will pick up the kids for school. Everybody will take the garbage out. Everybody will do the uh, dishwasher, laundry to uh, uh, dryers. What else we do? No, I don't do this. No, no, I don't do this. But I know what? I put the sheets back. Like They take the sheets for, for washing, and they leave the bed uh, naked. So I have to go cover it, you know? Like, uh, like Why, when you take the sheets, you don't put the back on the car? You know? I don't know. Anyway. So everybody will do that. But when you have my project, when you have my milestone, it means what? I can focus. I can rem remind myself, this is what I'm working on. The project can be personal, can be business, can be distractive, whatever you want to do. Then you have calls to make and the emails to write, which is important to do toward your business. Because sometimes you want to say, yeah, I want a call to ask for 
the divorce symposium because I may have a booth over there or I may want to be early, but I didn't. Okay. Um, then there are something called 10 minutes, 10 minutes just to get done projects. These are what the projects you want to do in 10 minutes. Or could it be one that you put on the back burner that is only going to take you 10 minutes to yes, finish? Yes, yes. Anything. I, I personally, uh, in my own notes, I have this huge because every project I do, it has to be 10 minutes. So and I, if I have a project of one hour, it will be six projects for 10 minutes. So, you know, because remember, I'm a time guy, right? Like, I still behave in time. I, 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 if it does not make sense from time perspective, I will not do it. At the end of the day, there is no right or wrong way to fill these things. What matters is, can you do it for one week? And review at the end of the week. And figure out how this can be done. I don't believe in electronics, by the way. I don't believe in computers and electronics. I believe that people have to write stuff, print it or write it and see it. Because the screen has a limitation. I usually put it in and then print it and then put it out. It's great, it's good. If you, if you, if you do it this way, I know this, I'm not even sure if this is available as ebook, but uh, we can okay. talk, we can talk. But I, I, I always believe that in that. So anyway, and then you can have notes. Okay? Any questions on this framework? I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Because this is notes. Yeah, oh. Any, yes, sir. Quick question. Uh, taking wife to shopping is must do or to do? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> it's a function. It's a, a <laughs> it's a function is you want to go to the divorce symposia this year <laughs> or in two years, okay? <laughs> You know why I said it this way? Because the statistics said, sadly enough, that the Canadians will visit the court for divorce 1.7 times in their life. It used to be at least once in their life. Right now they say it at least 1.7 in their time, mm -hmm. unfortunately. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking for my 0.7 to go for it, you know? <laughs> anyway, so sorry. We have to stop bringing this topic, okay? Okay. <laughs> I will. Okay, so this is what's the planning side of the journaling. So this page, which is, I believe, in both, in, uh, both uh, books are one, two. Then what Mike was talking about, what's going on? So this one here is let's get things done today. So this is what you need to fill, which is start on page three in both notes. And you keep going one per day. Okay? So let's go. Yes, sir. Um, my way is set. Yeah. Um, on the weekly side, we had the, the measurement here. So this measurement is measurement of your satisfaction, of your motive. We talk about winning. Sometimes you will have success. Sometimes you say my mode is a function of how you want to use this tool for <laughs> okay, then we go on page three. Thank you, thank you for pointing out this. Now, we go on page three. Page three, let's things done today. So, some of you under uh, drinks, you'll have some logos for drinks, some don't. And I wanted, yeah. So, yeah, you don't because, uh, yeah, but, but no, so we had a version before where we put drinks here. And people got annoyed. Yeah, people got annoyed because some of them they drink alcohol, some of them they don't drink alcohol. Some them, uh, so anyway, you can write down your green shakes here. Yeah, I drink drink uh, green shakes. I go buy kale, uh, uh, spinach, turmeric, and ginger every week because we have a lizard. We have a small lizard which eats this stuff. My wife drinks it and dies as well. Support the family. Lizard, my wife, and family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have Cuckoo. His, his name is Cuckoo. Yeah. It's just like uh, this size. And when friends come over, you know, we hide the whole tank. Mm -hmm. Because people cannot afford seeing these lizards. And it's very funny. I have a YouTube video of him on uh, front of an uh, iPad. And when the action is happening, it moves its face. Mm. 
When you see a lizard watching an, an iPad, you'll be shocked. Mm. A, what? a lizard? lizard? Watching iPad, you know. Like, because it, it can stand on the, on the tree piece for like four days. Don't move. If you want to have fun with a lizard, put two iPads, one on this side, one on this side. Maybe. <laughs> don't talk, don't, 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 don't give Adam ideas, please. Uh, Bravin, Bravin, don't give Adam ideas because I don't want to buy him any, a second iPad. Okay? <laughs> anyway, um, so let's go to the things to be done today. So this is what you should do today. I will not talk on, uh, you must have at least three priorities of the day. <coughs> you should have uh, your uh, shores, shores, which is basically, you can figure it out, feed whatever, declutter whatever. You should have drinks, then what things to do. This can be d wait until tomorrow, what you are eating, good things of today, emails and phones you made, fitness exercises if you have, appointments and dates, random stuff, ideas and plans, and then you can have your doodle. So this is a format which I find out very interesting. To be honest with you, I try to fill as many as I can of these blocks. Sometimes I can't. Just as I cannot fill everything because you cannot do, but just give you an idea. Why doodle? Because with these tools, usually you try to accommodate so many different interests of different people. Mm. So these tools have to be as generic as possible to accommodate different things. So how many of you has some similar tool? Not as detailed. Yeah. So you have similar tool? Yeah. How, how sophisticated your tool again is this tool? Oh, Daniel Laporte has... One like this, but very feathery. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is more actionable. That's why we used to print it on white, and I like to print it on this color because it's actionable. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, can you promise when you go home today to complete page uh, three, page one, two, and three? <coughs> so, please pick up your your uh, brand uh, brand promise sheet. If you can pick up your brand promise sheet. And write an action. <coughs> and the action is by tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock for the VIP, 9 o'clock for the general seating. By tomorrow morning, eight by tomorrow, 8 o'clock morning for the VIP, 9 o'clock for the non-VIP, complete page 1, 2, and 3. And if you want to have the other date, you can use you can use it by <laughs> ten o'clock at night. <coughs> the check the checkout date can be ten o'clock at night tonight. Okay. And tomorrow we can also, uh, and as much as you can fill all the blocks and. Let's hear your experience tomorrow. And if you do journaling in a different format, it's great. But just as exercise, uh, just use this and let's see your experience tomorrow. And I will share, um, I, I can share with you one of the experience I heard from so many, common one, that this is, is so detailed to the level that it helped me get more ideas and expand what I can do. Yes. I think it's so powerful because when we are writing everything down of our to-do list, which which then transforms to our to-be list, that leads to effortless success. Wow. And also, some of the comments I, I hear is, why do I have to take the 90 days to 30 days to repeat again in a week? And uh, as I told you before, sometimes we do things because one lead to the other. Is not everything is in one uh, sheet. So sometimes you have leading questions. So you ask questions to lead to something. Or you ask questions to defocus uh, and dis disturb the train, of thought, the train of thought of somebody. So you ask him a disturbance question. So these are science they teach in investigation, in criminal, uh, what do they call it? Criminal. Uh, criminal law, education, there is a science there where how you can investigate somebody to extract the information. And they have strategies. 
question lead to question, queen to question lead to uh, trail of thought, question disturb the trail of thought, surprising questions, questions I don't need. An answer is just to fill the gap and to confuse them more. Mm. Uh, and if you look at uh, border crossing and all of these interesting uh, programs, you can actually map which questions they ask the traveler because this, Thank you know. You I, I, every time I travel, and I even have a, 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 a card, Nexus. a Nexus card, every time, stop and, oh, can we ask you some questions? Yeah. You know why? <laughs> you know why? You look guilty. If you do your DNA test and uh, my ancestry DNA test, both of us will find one thing common. We belong to this, our great, great, great grandfather named Random. <laughs> so we are always big up because we belong to our great 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 grandfather named Random. <laughs> like it's a random random inspections and I go through six airports and I have it eight times because yeah. one, two times I have twice. <coughs> I, I think we were in hell that says look at me. No, we belong to the random family. That's it, okay? <laughs> okay. Any uh, questions on the journaling? And if uh, the general, uh, the people in the general seatings wants to buy the full uh, 30 days, more than happy, you can talk to Marcel. If the VIP come back in 30 days and show me that all the pages are filled, I will give you a complimentary one. By the way, this one sells for about $40 on Amazon US dollars. 47. For, wow, 47, okay. So this uh, book has values. Oh, the last page, which is also I forgot to say, this is our 100 plus benefits of journaling. Okay? So you can have a stress reduction, you can have healing, you know yourself and your tr truth better, you have a personal growth, is personal growth, is our problem solving, it's, it's flexible and easy, enhance intuition, and creativity capture your life story and the capture your life story is important because when we talk uh, with along with the request from Karen we talk about how you can set up a seminar which can sell you will need your life story if you want to leave a legacy behind you you will need a life story if you want to write your uh, I know people like in 85 years old, they like they write their own diaries and was they also write their own uh, Biography. bi biographies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you leave this behind, people can write it. And then give you the color. Karen can get you people to write this, right? They're dying to write their own okay. stories, yeah. You know, I have a friend, she, every Christmas, she writes a book and she gives it to all of her family members. And she prints out of this book 40, pa 40 copies only. You know her. Donna Doll. Oh, yeah, she writes, this year book was uh, around the uh, recipes of people who, who need like uh, gluten free and few other things, and she was giving it as a Christmas gift to everybody. So, yeah, so and she only prints like forty copies. She promised me a copy, but she didn't give it to me. Yet. <laughs> Why you laugh? She's a nice lady. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know. Yes. I know, I know she's... I know. Know her as well. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready to start our day today? <coughs> We're just starting now. So with the party there, can we photocopy a page for us for when the book For is personal there? use, actually in the copyright is very clear. You can do anything for personal use, you know? And uh, as I said, anything you want to do, just let me know. Yeah. I hate surprises and we go very angry against surprises. Like, I, there are people actually copying my stuff word to word with my permission. Because they came and said, can we use this in this content? Yeah, you can. And actually, here is the actual source of it. Here is the PowerPoint presentations, and here's all the notes I have, and there, I give them some videos as well. And they went in and they made a significant amount of dollars with it. They never came back to pay me any reality, but we're still friends. And there are people who try to take this stuff and go to different workshops, and we went to stop them. Because we, as everybody else, don't like surprises. If you want to compete against me, let me know you're competing. And we can show you how the competition can be win-win to us. If you want to uh, do something else, you take so. And I believe you will feel the same because it takes us effort and time to do this material. If you don't respect other people's creativity, 
you people will not respect your creativity. Mm. What comes around, what, co- what, uh, what goes around, comes around, comes around. So it's not what comes around, goes around, what goes around, comes around, okay? What goes and comes around and around, okay? <laughs> 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 Okay, so let's, uh, you, you, you understand now the exercise, so I will do it differently this time. It's just basically you guys can pass over this stack, pick up any card you like, and uh, just keep the stack moving. No, 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 no. Put it back. The stack has to move because the stack is different. And it might be one card only, which is, uh, you can take from the middle. It may be one card only, which is duplicate, which I have to ver- ver- verify this, which came up with Marcel. So. so after you pick up your card, take two inhale, one exhale. Is your chest now oh, no, empty? No, 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 no. It's going to be symmetrical. Why? I'm greedy, man. I'm greedy, man. No, no, no. I take two. Okay, two inhale. Exhale. Okay, two inhale, two exhales, and read your uh, read your card and uh, take uh, like a <laughs> few se- ten seconds to reflect on what you what is the quote of you have today. Thank you, sir. Okay, we can part- uh, We can be like group of two. And I want you, uh, can you, s- s- are we even? So two, 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 two. Shamir, we have, we, Shamir, do you wanna, You'll be with the group at the table. Marcel, you'll be out. It's fine. Uh, okay. So, can we have a group of two? Uh, can each, uh, can you identify partner A? So, who's partner A in the group? Can, partner A, raise your hand. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, when we, when I will call it, uh, partner B will go <coughs> first. And I, I want to get, I'll give you one minute to share your reflections. And then when I call change, Partner A will go and share the reflections, and then we convene again. Okay? So, partner A, let's go. Partner B, start sharing. Okay. Yeah. So, partner B, start sharing. Right. Sorry? Partner B, start sharing. Part, partner B, start Reflect to what you have. Okay, so we stop now. Okay, so partner A, give high five to partner B and say, Awesome. <laughs> okay. Now I wanna uh, partner A to reflect on their own card, and please, I did not ask you guys to discuss it. You just say st- st- stay still, listen to what they say. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Partner A is now start. Okay, so the person succeeds, you know, 
Okay, so give it a, give a high five and say awesome. Okay. Now, what I want to do is partner A to share with us what he or she heard from <coughs> partner B on their card. Well, we, didn't, we didn't know what we were supposed to do with okay. the process until it came to be my turn. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. so let's start with uh, Karen. So yeah. who's, who's partner A and who's partner, partner B? partner A. So can you tell us what the partner B shared with you? Um, I cannot remember the quote, actually. Um, so the quote is, when you win, nothing hurts. Yeah. And I love that quote. And so um, my amazing partner B shared about having the power of courage. And that when we have courage, um, we, we can set a goal but if we don't have the courage to apply the knowledge and move forward, uh, we're not going to achieve that result. And that the achievement on the other side of it just allows for all of the struggle and the and the challenges that we had to be so worth. Wow. The win. Did you share this stuff? No, no, she made it up. <laughs> no, seriously, no, no, seriously. No, no. Was this the level did you share with her about it? Okay, so give her a high five. Thank you, Karen. Okay, let's uh, move to this group here. So can partner A share what partner B, without reading the card, okay, don't read the card. Just share what he shared. Um, so Claude was talking about time and what, how, what to do with your time, how to schedule your time. <coughs> and two important aspects in his life is um, solitude and to be engaged with others. So he makes sure that he schedules both each day to enjoy both aspects of his life. Well, is this true? Very true. Give her a high five, man. High five. Okay. Why would did this exercise in this way? Did you enjoy this way different than last than yesterday? Was this different? So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because here we check uh, the listening skills of the other person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to... Uh, so which one was better? Which, which one would vote for yesterday technique, which everybody shares? Anybody will vote for today technique, which yeah, is today. Okay. Both techniques has their own yeah. values and they have their own outcome. I want to point out one important thing. Why I ask our lovely Christina not to read the card? Because Karen said it right. I cannot remember the exact wording. Doesn't matter. All what she reflects on what is what is what? What she received. What she received. Like like even Christina, I'm not sure I did not talk to her before to say this script, but her script was what? What Claudia said. And then it become it does not become, can I just see? It did not become Team Fargo words. Yes. It actually became our lovely Claudia words. This exactly what these models talk about. The words doesn't matter. The learning doesn't matter. The information doesn't matter. What matters is how you receive them. And you still in a little bit of the perceiving. If I would ask partner A, or sorry, partner B immediately to repeat, they will be in the receiving mode. So I asked the partner who did not talk last. He uh, sorry, he was he was talking last. He was listening for some time. Then he take another action to reflect his perception, or sh or uh, or uh, his uh, his or her perception. If you ask the partner who just finished talking to, to say what he say, 
it will be in the receiving mode. Do you get this point? The long lasting experience will happen is when you retain. So this is a way to create a personal connection between you and the other individuals inside the room. So, so yesterday was more of a group format. Yes. And so it was beneficial on a group level, but this was more of if you were taking a customer and doing a one on one, right? Or a smaller group. So or a smaller group for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yesterday we just read, we did not discuss. And today we we did. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah, we reflect a little bit, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. That was the question what does it mean for you to you? So mm -hmm. you read the quote, and then the question was, yeah. what is, does yeah. it mean to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which basically a reflection. Like, what does it mean to you is basically a reflection, yeah. Okay? So which one do you like m uh, better, yesterday or today? I like them both. And both, both of them has their own use. If you run out of time, you can use the groups, because the groups will be lesser. Right. If you have a, a... I don't like to have the 50 people in the workshop, because I like to have... Each one has at least one to two minutes to talk to others, okay? Uh, the, question, the following question is, um, how many of you is wondering about somebody in the room, what he's doing for work, and they didn't talk to him before? Like, does anybody wants to know s what is the business line or what, or someone else is doing that they didn't talk about before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And this is, I encourage you in the break to go to talk to them. But I want to ask this question now because sometimes we go to events and they will teach us. You stand there and say, my name is Wael Badawi, I have PhD, I have da -da -da. and this is not right. I'm against that. When we work together here, when we have a personal connection, when we get to know the person, when we get to know the ideas through the group sharing and through the cohort or the subgroup sharing, we basically build a better connection, we have now a desire to know more. Not more from a personal perspective for a personal reasons, but more from even a professional perspective. So now I'm, I'm eager, I want to know, okay, so what this guy is really doing? Can you tell me more? So uh, when I will talk a little bit uh, after the lunch today, I will highlight this particular topic, which basically you should not start with say who you are. You should start to say what you do and what the benefits of what you do to me. So now it will be up to me to say, can I have your business card? Which is what Karen is moderating in her events in a different way by having this format of questions, you know? You talk about what you like, what you're passionate about, what's about the topic of today. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, so I got my card. Do you want to know what's my card, Reeves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why didn't ask me, guys? When you want to know you stuff. You are not A or B. Yeah. You are the, okay. the question mark. Okay. You are the question mark. <laughs> yeah, just to clarify, because because I got uh, uh, I got some comment uh, from a good fr uh, someone here, and uh, he said like, be careful, don't uh, attack Shamir because he might be have he, he might create a, an issue with him. So Shamir, I know him for so long, so. <laughs> No, I got a, I got a message I yesterday. Didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have an issue until now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I just, I, I, okay. uh, no, no, I just I want to make sure because one of the individuals who attended yesterday, he sent me a message like, why are you were so aggressive? Uh, okay, I know Shamir for so long and uh, we always joke and we always like to have this. Uh, it's not a confronting, but it's a confronting. Like we'll, we always really like to be vocal. Just you know, so, so engineer, this, is our, this is our style. So you'll find this Shamir uh, Rob, <laughs> who's work also for, who owns the company, which is Joel work for. Uh, actually, him, him and Shamir, when they sit uh, across the table, yeah, definitely. you feel like they are almost going to a fight. Uh, Mike and Shamir, like uh, Marcel, so everybody, like uh, we have a group of us which actually feel comfort and feel privileged to be spoken at and spoken to and point to by the group because we trust each other. We love each other and we like to work with each other. So, yeah, so I, I just hope to bring it up. So if anybody's curious, like, you know, um, I respect everybody, uh, dignity and integrity and so many, but there are good friends of me like who can put my hand on my tummy because I don't have a heart. <laughs> okay, so what's my, 
my card is this is not the end this is not even the beginning of the end this is just perhaps the end of the beginning oh really what that's the card she had yesterday wow that's, that's interesting uh who said this? Uh, that was, she read that to me yesterday. That wow. Was, was who said this quote? You did, right now. No, 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 no. Who said it? Was Joyce, the gal that was sitting here. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying, like, who said this quote? That? This quote is said by somebody. I don't know who said The name is on the card. I, I don't have the card. Oh, well, you got the card. Tell yeah, but so you never heard this quote before? No, no. So what does it mean, this quote for us? I read the quote before. You read it before? I've heard it before. I don't know. Yeah. This is not the end. This is not even the beginning to of the end. This just perhaps the end of the beginning. Winston Churchill, okay. the best uh, speaker of, of, of our own time. So, okay. I was going with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so on this particular topic, I want to share with you one more story. Okay. Do, do you allow me to share the story? Yes. Okay. You are the host. Who said? Insanity is keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Einstein. Einstein. Author unknown. Einstein. Okay. Author unknown. Any event you go to and they tell you, Einstein said this talk, this, said this talk please stand up and go home. <laughs> because if you search over my cousin Google, my cousin told me that Einstein has, did not ever said such a quote and there are some publication and some research done to prove that actually Einstein will never say such a quote. Okay? So please, when you go home or on your break, go to your, my cousin and just type down <coughs> who said, that, who defined in his, uh, insanity, and you'll be surprised. I still love the quote. Like, as, uh, like if the quote did not exist, I would say, Dumb means doing different things and ex doing the same thing and expect different. Uh, like I like it, you know. It's very elegant to quote and very. And usually the photo is nice with the Einstein face, but the author was not Einstein. Okay. So I know I know very credible uh, speakers said stuff, and this will point out to the next step is if you say something to a group, I record everything and everything will be on YouTube with the uh, uh, benefits of having a membership with a VIP, they can have access to the recordings. Maybe two, three, five, ten years down the road, this stuff will go for free. God knows, you know, maybe they'll be hacked and they'll be uh, put outside. But this is record. And if you lie on the record, it will not reflect nice with your customers. So whenever you have a quote, please verify. Please verify that whoever said the quote is actually said it. And there are some quotes <coughs> also where more than one guy will say it. Okay? Like I have a dream. How many of you will stand, will wake up in the morning and tell their partner or their family or their friends, oh, you know what? Yesterday night I have a dream. Because you have dreams, right? Mm -hmm. who, so who said I have a dream? Yeah. Junior. Junior. Martin, he said, I have a dream. But everybody say, I have a dream. 2,000, 20,000 million people before him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> So did you get the point on the quote? <coughs> so whenever you want to quote somebody, you have to ask yourself, why are you quoting someone? And uh, sometimes you can use this trick, like all of these are winning quotes. These quotes can do the, I'm not sure how much did you reflect or how much you respect this quote, but believe me, when I be, not everybody we are, not every time we are above the line or even at the line, and not every time we want to, which is co a current, uh, words for describing when you are positive and negative and stuff like that. So sometimes you need to change your mindset or you need to just, you know what, can I shift what I'm doing now? So for me, I reach out mm -hmm. to one of these cards 
and uh, I start to read them and say like, oh yeah, so why he said so? And, and then I go back trying to finish what I was doing and then I move to different. It gave me a completely different mood. So uh, for this card, for the VIP group, we have uh, a complimentary set. If you guys have... Uh, so we have one for Claudius Thank here, you. one for Sandy, one for Mike, and one for you. And you guys, if you would like to buy the whole set, as I, I believe there are 60 of them, and uh, we have them for sale outside. Okay? Are you ready to start with it? Now we can start? So welcome to the workshop, and... Uh, <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah. yeah. Did you have fun? Did you? <laughs> did you enjoy the time? Loved it. Okay, so today the, uh, the exercise is much easier because the exercise will be around exploring your values. We go around and uh, please don't, 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 we will go through the pages. I, I will spend at least two, three minutes on every page. So we want to look at what we value and what's exactly our value. The exercise of today will be uh, slightly different because it works based on elimination. And uh, I will uh, go through. So a good way to figure out what makes you tick is looking at your values. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Think of them as your personal canvas. They give direction to the choices you make and the way you behave. So if you go to... Uh, If you go to uh, page 27, we start with the documentation. Okay? So the documentations, you should actually put this inside your folder if you want an easy handling. The documentation will start by eliminating the table uh, values from the tables on 28. So you go back to page 28 now and go through the list of values, eliminate the words that they don't resonate with you, put a check mark to the next to the words that are important to you. Okay? And I apologize, I'm not challenging your eyesight. And I will fire whoever did this uh, <laughs> format. You know, just before they retire, so I cannot afford firing them, but anyway. Um, so, I'll give you five minutes and we I can check back with you in five minutes. So please go through these values and eliminate and please go slowly. Uh, take your time. Remember, if you are here, we have to play together to maximize the use of our time. So some of you may say, yeah, we know our values, so why we don't? There are maybe values out there which you are not aware of. And if you if you if you need dictionary, because some of the word you may not know it, just skip it for now. Okay, we don't have dictionary. So m eliminate the values which does not resonate with you, and mark the one which uh, which resonate with you. Coming back, check out time five minutes. So.
So, do you need more time? I'm done. So, do you still need more time? <coughs> One more minute, guys, so we can... Okay, so how uh, how many of you have like ten values? Can who? Well, almost, uh, I got almost all. all of the values. Less or more, we have values except for a few. Okay, so you are supposed to review the short list of values you checked out and you pick up your top five values <coughs> so out of the values you have been looking around 
you're supposed to have top five. Okay. So what I want to do, uh, we did not start yet. So what we want to do now is because we want to do this once and once for all, that's right. So you need to go back to the list, spend few minutes and pick up five. When you pick up these five, you should write them on page 30. Yes. Or just write them on page 20 for now, it's okay, because you don't have... Page 29. 29, 29. So pick up from 28, write them on 20, <coughs> just for now, because we don't want to flip so many pages. I told you somebody need to be fired, because they expanded the wrong way. <coughs> so pick up five values, and organize them, one, two, three, four, five. Page? You pick up the top five values. Yeah. You can write them here. Oh, okay. In, in sequence of importance. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <coughs> so write five values, which is uh, the top five values. Uh, by the way, if you, you don't need to think too much, if you just pick up five, if you if they are not the act, the right ones, what we do, we can do the exercise. You can do the exercise again on your own, <coughs> and pick up the more. Okay, each one has five. Okay. Uh, the next step is I want to know who had articulated the same value. So, who of you here has selected the same value as the other one? I don't know. Like if you see if he, I want to know if you pick the value that I picked or he picked the value that's. that's oh, so you want to know, know what our values are. Yes, but want to know what are the overlapping values between the, the people. So how we do this? Well, you we ask. Them off one to one share one. and yes. ask questions. <laughs> okay, so let's just pick up uh, pick up love. So who picked love? <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what we are going right now is we want to define what this value means to you. So I want each one of these six individuals before they write down to actually no, write down first what love means to you and your notes. Under this tell, you basically write uh, define what that value look like in your own words. Define what that value looks like in your own words. For the others, pick up one value only and define this value, what's, how, how does it look like in your own words. So you are six, the six who raise their hands, only define love. The other people in the, in the, in the room, define one value, define only one. Okay? 
for mm. now, and we'll keep going. So, did you write down the definition? Okay. No, you have to write it down. I write it down. Yeah, please. Each one write it down. Must write down. On page 29, just if you have love, you just write love means, and you write it down. Write it down. I did. I've written them down. No, I didn't do the love thing. Okay, write the meaning of one. One more value. Okay. Okay. So, can people who start with love, can each one of you, whatever order you like, share to the others or read to the others what did you write? Can we finish first and then writing first? No. But you only write one. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. You need just to reflect on one of the five. Christina, don't worry, Mike is always ahead. Mike, sir. Mike is always ahead. You ask him for one, he's doing everything. It's, it's, it's very efficient, very effective. I love, I love working him. I love working with him. You know. I was on a roll. Okay, so I want to have the ones from love to start first. So I'm not sure how you want to start. You want to yeah, let's, let's start with well, sure. So love to me is seeing and reflecting positive energy to each other. So seeing and reflecting positive energy to each other. Thank you. Kevin. Uh, so my definition of love is accepting, trusting, and caring for another person or self. Okay. Uh, then who's here with love? Before, go ahead. Uh, so I went with the biblical definition: uh, love God, others, and myself. Okay. In that order. Okay. Sir, what was that? Love God, others. The the whole quote is from Mark twelve thirty: Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind. And if you don't believe in God, because love you don't have to believe in God, like you love the universe, you love the superpower. Doesn't matter, okay? And the one of the things, if you run this. Uh, workshops you have to be careful of the five protected grounds let's see if he, so if one of the audience will say something which may touch you correctly expand it okay this is one of the tips which is I always do because I'm very familiar with the five protected ground if you don't know what are the five protected ground in Canada speak to me after in the break Karen uh, love to me is acknowledging and seeing the divine nature in another, no matter who they are. Wow, very powerful. <laughs> Sandy, you have love? Good, yeah. Um, love is all there is, and love always wins. Wow. Did you plan to have a team, you and Karen? You have the same set outfit? Same colors? What happened? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so love means being of service to others and to love and accept myself and others unconditionally. So I wanted to have this exercise because it's not enough for any of these six to tell me that they value love. So if an opposite sex of me will say I will value love, it has a different meaning. And if somebody will come to you and say, that is, I value love, what's your interpretation of my word? Well, it, it's, uh, it's all personal to you. Yeah. It's not, but it's my own value. It's qualifiable, it's not quantifiable. Great, awesome. So when you put your values, when you want to articulate and share your values, you must do what? You must explain it. It's not enough to come to somebody, you know what, I feel, I, I value, which is you must not value. Did anybody value integrity? I did. Okay. Did you value honesty? Somebody has in the five honesty? So if you value honesty and integrity, we have to talk. 
I will share with you a very interesting perception. We do it from business perspective. Okay. Um, so you have to articulate it. So I wanna the rest of the uh, room to go one by one and share with us one value where they articulate or they explain. So we start from Claudie. So what was your value? The first value was understanding because un understanding for me is a goal that I set for myself when I was a child or a kid. And my life mission is to understand all I can about life. And that's how I grow. That's how I help others grow around me. Wow. Very powerful. Mike, one go one. I also had understanding, that, which is more clarity around expectations of myself and others. Okay. So you see, this is another example. So I love what you shared because this is another example. So we've seen the example of love. And by the way, love is very common. Like, it's very common. Like, you maybe, it's uh, four to two. Usually it's about more feminine will have love in their uh, values. And there are percentage about that, but I'm not here to share this at this point. But understanding is another example. Like different individuals have different. Uh, Joel, do you have understanding? Oh, sorry, right? Tell us what you what you. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I put down as. Raise your voice. Can you open up, man? Can you open up? Open up, yeah. <laughs> Be open, okay? We are not here to scare you. Okay. So why are? Hello. <laughs> 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 I put down success, um, and for me that is to set goals in life and reach them so that you know when I'm old I can look back on my life and say yes, I feel like I had a positive impact on the people around me and I lived up to all my values. Wow, oh, amazing. Kevin, Don, Lewis, your turn. My turn? Yeah. Oh, okay, directness. Um, being able to express thoughts in a concise manner without judgment or have to qualify actions to either individual being from a loving and compassionate place. And I, 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 I resonate very well with your value based on a story you shared yesterday. I, I can see it exactly how this can be the top one for you. <laughs> because the values come from our experience. You know, like, uh, and if you have the roller coaster of your life I don't I'm not, I don't mean you have been single married or you have been married divorced or have been whatever there's a roller coaster whatever it is you have been working and then you have been laid off doesn't matter but if you on the high of the roller coaster you will have different values and the low of the roller coasters and it's very interesting if you are interested to study the people values that's an awesome values my good friends well, I'm going to pick integrity because you said I'm talking to you, so I'm going to pick it right now. Uh, to me, integrity means to do what you promise, you do, fulfill your promises. Mm. Okay. Wow. Well, that's integrity. Well. Um, um, uh, Marcel, sorry, Marcel. Uh, curiosity. Always be uh, being open and interested in uh, people and um, what's to learn. Excellent, I love it. Ahmed. Yeah, I went with the punctuality. Uh, yesterday's example for the dinner <laughs> was in my mind. So expect things to be done as per schedule and on time, as time is the essence of success of any project. And this cannot work in Canada because when we have the snowstorm, there is no time. Okay. <laughs> 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 time People are going to be late. You can say that because the sense of success of any project is time. So wow. You put punctuality as your number one out of that entire list. Wow, that's cool. Wow, you must get disappointed a lot. <laughs> okay, so this gives you this gives you an idea what the values means for others. Okay, and uh, we have to go through the the four before before lunch because lunch is supposed to become uh, in like ten minutes or so, and then we have a lunch break. So we have a time for it. So. Uh, can you go now to complete the other four in the list of five and just write down what does it mean to you? And you'll go through another share. So you do the number two, three, four, and five. Did you say earlier that we, you wanted us to come and talk to you if honesty and integrity were in our values? No, we will. I'll, I'll discuss with them after you're done. Okay. Oh yeah, 
It's okay. Okay. Mike also is ahead. I know. Yeah. Completions one on one. Ahead of time. Art Williams has spoken to many business groups through
you need more time? So, uh, welcome exclamation mark guest not guest two guest okay okay uh, are you done uh, now uh, I wanna we wanna go and uh, like maybe select, do you want to go to share a second one cross of the table or you want to two to share the other four? <coughs> two? Okay, so can we, not sure. You you guys pick who, who wants to stand and share the other four value. Maybe Sandy because she's the last one working hard. You want to <laughs> share? Do I want to share the other four? Yeah. Sure. So what is number two? You can stand if you like. Um, so my, sec thank you. my second one was uh, integrity. And <coughs> to me that was um, having and honoring an integral value to create a solid foundation. Um, true to promises and keeping your word. Hmm. That's kind of okay. what all that comes to me. And you shared your integrity. So, sorry, is anybody else, you have integrity as well? Yeah. So, okay, Christine, can you share your integrity? Yeah, it's doing what you say you're going to do. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What's your? Doing what you say you're going to do. Integrity? Yeah, uh, I started with saying, if you don't have integrity, the opposite is disintegrate. So if you don't have integrity in your life. Okay. Um, so it's, and building on yesterday, delivering on your promises, so your brand. So your brand is different for your wife, for your uh, kids, for your clients, for your customers, but whatever the promises are, deliver on Okay. Hmm. Sandy, what else? Uh, prosperity is uh, recognizing, acknowledging, and honoring the potential wealth in myself and others. Wow. I know prosperity means money. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> well, the money comes. Okay. The money comes. Who else has prosperity in his list? Okay. Can you share? Uh, prosperity is having enough to live my life the way I want it, being able to travel by, uh, by all my needs and wants, being frugal with the world's resources, and being generous to others. Wow. Well, oh. You have prosperity as well, Karen? Uh, well, I have wealth. No, you don't have prosperity. Okay. No. What is different? We need people. Who, anybody else has prosperity? Okay. Sandy, what's your next one? Uh, spirituality. Okay. Uh, is uh, a higher power to connect with for guidance, comfort, and wisdom. Wow. You have Sam? Yeah, I have spirituality. I'm aware of who I am and what I am. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, daily practice of being in, in connection with my divinity. I put knowing you came from a place of love and compassion, you have the support on all levels, being open to receive what is needed, not wanted. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, this, is, this, is go this can go for a long way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, your last one now. Is optimism. And to me, that means choosing joy. Choice and showing up with that joy in all aspects of life. <coughs> yeah. Anybody else has the same? Okay. So do you do you now feel and understand that this word can mean different? So who wants to? We said we have we need two. So who wants to be second? So Shamir, so you want to go second? Sure. So do you have others than what they share? Right. Anybody else has compassion? Okay, what do you have? Caring. Okay. okay. Yeah. Your third one? Uh, fun. It's not worth doing if it's not fun. Okay. Awesome. 
Somebody else has fun? Only one. You have fun, John? Yeah. Okay, what's your definition for fun? Enjoy life. You, you, life will drag on if you're not enjoying it. You find joy in every aspect of your life. Wow. You, okay. That's, uh, that's amazing. Next one. Uh, help. Tune your tempo. Mm. Okay. Anybody else has else? Uh, health is being able to do what I want, being able to move and do all things like I desire, like travel and feel good in all parts of my body. Wow. The last one, my friend? Uh, correct. Uh, have no fear when leaving from the heart. Mm. Anybody else has courage? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. And the etymology. What's your definition? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the etymology of courage is k, which is heart, which is exactly what he said. Uh, so take responsibility, and uh, I, I look at people who encourage each other, and even first responders that are courageous because they run into a situation. Mm. That takes heart when other people are suffering. Uh, do you have courage? What do you, what's your definition? Doing what's scary. So this exercise should be summarized as follows. Each one of us has some values. It's a function of what we did in our life, who we are, and how we were coming to here, and the life experience. These are very personalized values. However, the words have no meaning if you cannot explain what the meaning of this word from you to your customer. Agree? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Did you have similar ex exercise before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has this <coughs> exercise for the very first time today? Okay. okay, so one more thing you can take it to the next level that you can look at how people articulate their values and it will tell you right away who are they and how they can perceive things. Because we are, if you don't engineer based on this quadrant, what are you saying? People can actually understand more about who you are and what you do. And the way we use this is this can create a moral for our organization. Okay? So when you talk about the moral of your organization, it can be identified through what your company, what, you, what the values you have. In the next level of values, we have to talk about two different levels of values. Functional values and the frictional values. And this is not part of this particular exercise, but when you talk about these models, there are here frictional values. Because if you value something which you don't really like, but I value, we cannot get along for so long. And I will talk a little bit about this maybe tomorrow, how, how you can manage a frictional value with a business partner or with a life partner, uh, how you can basically accept it, okay? Frictional. Frictional, friction. like friction. Okay. If people having frictional values, they cannot live together. They cannot work together. They don't, they don't, they shouldn't. They have to do something else, mm -hmm. okay? Any questions? So if we move to the next level after this tell, it will be the validate. So in validate, you picked up your five values. You have defined what means for you. and But are you in, in living in an alignment with these values? So for each value, you should write down the value or you should go back and say, are you aligning? And I believe five means it's very aligned in your life. One means you need to work on it. And this is an area which we will not share because this area where I respect.
So the last part of this particular exercise, we usually call it activate. So how to activate? So you should select one or two values that you feel most critical for your success and happiness. So it's maybe a value which you have alignment with or a value that you don't have an alignment with, but you feel these values are important for you. And you should make a plan how to get more aligned with your value. So you can come up with a plan how you can bring values back into focus, make commitment. If your top value is health, you are always parked on a couch, showing down chips and soda. I do popcorn. Make, make a change. So basically, I changed the popcorn to chocolate and uh, <laughs> soda. <laughs> it's a change. I hate dark chocolate. I hate dark chocolate. Yeah, there's no heart. There's no heart benefit out of that. Then. Yeah. Dark chocolate is good for the heart. Well, I don't know. Dark you know what? They keep telling, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am. You know what? They keep telling us milk is the main source of calcium. Drink milk. Drink milk. Drink milk. You, it, your bone will not be grow. Will not be strong when you have calcium. When you don't drink milk because you have no calcium. And my friend Karen does not, not you Karen, other Karen. Uh, and she is in front of Vancouver. She doesn't have milk. She didn't have milk for the last 20 some years. And honestly, the new studies showed up and they said milk doesn't have to do anything with calcium. And maybe you are the only human living form who drinks milk of other living forms, which is basically mm -hmm. cow, sheep. And, yeah. Yeah. and, and actually, so I'm not sure about uh, chocolate, but I was I will find in the future. One more also uh, myth we live with: people s talk about uh, they don't discuss sugar when they talk about addiction. But if you wanna addiction. control your appetite, take away sugar. Everything will be easy. And it takes about maybe seven days or more. So you, if you don't have, if you don't have a high intake of sugar or any intake of sugar, which is processed sugar, either brown or regular sh or white sugar, you, the studies demonstrate you can control your hunger, and you'll not have an appetite. You'll not have a desire to eat this interesting food. And they don't say that because if you understand history right. 50 years ago, the sugar cane manufacturers who take cane and make sugar were the main sponsor of all research in top universities in North America. Mm -hmm. And that's why they push on us the study saying fat is the main source for obesity. It's never been fat. It's never been carb. It's all around this sugar. And there are some studies which will say if time goes by, uh, goes back and we start again, we may control sugar as a control substance, similar to heroin and other stuff. Mm. It's the number one addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I personally have a personal experience. I was so healthy, more healthy than right now, and I, I was so fit, and I stopped having sugar for like a few months. And then I went to my friends from Jordan. <laughs> they gave me this coffee, which has this high dose of sugar. You ca I came back to sugar, and it's very hard to take it away. And if you go back to sugar, you s and you have this sugar, ca we put them in a can in our home. So we start to put like a spoon, spoon and a half, two spoons, two spoons, and, and every cup of tea. And you end up being in a different way. So now I want to eat a hamburger. Now I want to go to uh, Peter Drive-In to eat their burger. Yes, but the burger is too big, you know. <laughs> and uh, what I notice in my life is all comes from sugar. Okay, any more questions on this handout? Yes, sir. It's about sugar. But, uh, yeah, okay, what's about sugar? So the research was biased? Yes. The research was controlled to produce information away uh -huh. from informing the public that sugar uh, is a source of problems. Mm -hmm. That's why they sponsor this research in top universities. By the way, as a Canadian, you have to be also aware of the following. There, are, there, is, there is a lady, a professor in food science in University of Alberta in Edmonton, where she lost her career 
because she published an honest study demonstrating that Tim Horton coffee has addictive substance. The chemicals they use when they roast the uh, actual uh, coffee beans, it creates addiction. And when she had these studies back 1996, I knew about her in 2000, the university messed up with her and screwed up with her whole career. Through mm -hmm. scandal, because she announced this public, and these actually articles do exist in the archive of Calgary Hillard, and uh, I believe the Calgary Sun as well. And six months later, she had a scandal to quit the whole research area. I didn't meet her in person, but I heard about her story when I joined the University of Calgary, and I really admire the fact she has knowledge which she wants to share. It's up to us to decide if we want to drink more Tim Horton or not, but she was slapped for this particular fact. I still drink Tim Horton, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any more questions? Okay. So, um, I want to... Uh, is lunch ready? We'll begin five. Five? Okay. So I want to uh, stop the program here, but I want to before, I want to you to listen to a specific talk, which is uh, a fellow named Art Williams. Are you familiar with him? Yeah. Okay. So who, who, who's, who's not familiar with him? Who's, who's not? Who's not familiar with him? Not familiar. Not familiar with him. Okay. So people who are familiar with him, they can leave the room as they know the talk. Um, the, it's a very inspiring talk and uh, it talks also about cost. In this talk, like we have in the VIP session in the morning, there was some discussion about how we can set up our own cost <coughs> for our services, right? This one has a relation to it. It talks about two different uh, people who accept different price points. Uh, I want to leave you with it, and uh, by, that, by the time it will com com conclude, uh, lunch will be available. Uh copyright 2017 Win Your Brand. All rights reserved. This video is subject to copyright owned by Win Your Brand. Any reproduction or republication of all or part of this video is expressly prohibited. Unless Win Your Brand has explicitly granted its prior written consent, all other rights reserved. <laughs>